Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here and welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we have a new weapon mod here. Let me just pull it out real quick. That's really slick. I really like that. This is the IMI Uzi. Uh, Uzi is kind of like a classic gun. It just is a gun. Currently, I just, just crafted this myself. Uh, it's semi-auto. I have to tap the trigger to get it to shoot. I can't hold it down. This is me holding it down, right? It doesn't shoot. It's not fully automatic by default. It's got a really nice looking reload animation here. It's a little on the slow side, but I'll take a little slow for just like really nice looking animations like this. I mean, we'll see what kind of clip size we can do and stuff with it too. If you want to craft it for yourselves, it's at the chemistry station. For me, it's at the very bottom. Weapons Uzi. There it is. It's the Uzi. Okay. And it's, it's kind of an iconic weapon, right? You know, it's a very spray and pray kind of weapon and so I'm kind of surprised that it comes semi-auto by default but it's cool that you can't even make it semi-auto so obviously you have all the receiver stuff it does shoot the 10 millimeter ammo we're gonna make it automatic um because I just think that's the way it's supposed to go 61 damage on that not extremely high but 104 on the advanced receiver like if you wanted to make it semi-auto and maximize damage per bullet which is obviously the most efficient way to play Fallout 4 don't I'm, I'm, I'm not always about efficiency okay I just like going burr um <laughs> So we have suppressors here, flash hiders, and a variety of different things. Um, some of these seem to, you know, mostly just reduce recoil. And then suppressors obviously suppress and, and reduce recoil and stuff. Um, you can get increased accuracy, and you don't lose any range. So we'll just put a suppressor on there to try that out. So you have an unfolded stock here. I wonder if you change the stock, if it changes the end, because like you kind of unfold it right when you pull it out. So if you have like a... Like a real drifter, a one-handed stock. I mean, it's way, 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 way worse accuracy. Right? I don't know why that immediately took me to barrel. Um, but I, I want to see what this looks like. See, you pull it out and you're holding it with one hand. That's fucking cool, dude. You're like the Terminator, right? Like... Oh, I just want to dual wield. It's <laughs> like, that's really... Like, because if you're holding it in one hand, the other hand can hold it, too. Um, Fallout is nice. The fire rate of the Uzi is not ever been extremely high right it fires automatic but it's not like super fast the iron sights here are kind of nice except for that when you get in that fully automatic recoil you're never gonna know what you're shooting at but it's got i mean even by default here some nice hit fire accuracy i really don't i mean i'm not a huge i mean suppressed is, you know obviously some people are gonna sneak around with it and be suppressed and stuff i'm not a huge into the whole suppressing thing i just like to hear the gun go you know super loud i'm not what is better the muzzle brake or the muzzle compensator they're, they're both kind of the same, so I'm going to put the muzzle brake on there just to make it loud. Um, I did like the different animation. I'm going to put the woodstock on there because I want to see what that looks like when you pull it out and stuff, too. That's more of a... See, then you can, like, you can make it more of a rifle, I'm sure. So, obviously, we can put the big old drum mag on there. I do, I do like how it lists the ammunition counts and, you know, the quick ejectness. It's 25 rounds and fast. It's 32 rounds and fast. It's 32 rounds and it's 50 rounds. We're going to put the big old drum mag on there because we're, we're going full auto with this like a crazy person. Um, standard barrel range of 107 is still like a lot for this kind of weapon. I feel like for so as soon as it shoots 10 millimeter ammo, um, advanced it's lighter, so you can make it lighter. Short barrel, that's better recoil that way. Worse recoil and hit fire accuracy. Does this get better hit fire accuracy? Uh, why is it keep switching to things? I don't like that. Automatic powerful woodstock lower rail. Okay, we got grips here. Different, I mean, I'm sure they all help improve recoil, so it's all just a cosmetic thing. Um, the real check here is to see if your character holds the grip, like, correctly, or, like, somewhat correctly, right? Based off of the video game stuff. So we got short barrel on there, drum mag, damage modifiers in here, plus or minus damage, whether you feel like it's too powerful or, you, you know, whatever. We got some camos here, so blues, your desert, your digital, your forest, forest, alt, green, red, alternate red. Red Alt 2, Red gets a lot of alternates. Standard Tan, Urban White, Woodland, Woodland Alt, Worn. There's a lot of there's a lot of different camos in here. I'm gonna put a nice little um, black and red on here. I think that looks nice. And let's see what we got going on here, because there's a lot of stuff actually going on with this weapon. So yeah, you just kind of pull it straight up there. I mean, we have extremely low recoil. That is true. That short barrel does not kick up nearly as much. I'm not controlling the recoil. I'm doing a 50 round drum mag, you barely kicked up at all. Obviously, you're losing a lot of range for that, though. So you kind of got to mix and match depending on how you want it to be. Let's make sure we kind of got over. I think we got a right rail here, so we, we got a left rail, too? Or no, we just got the one side rail. So you either get a flashlight or a laser. Or no. Yeah, yeah, surefire flashlight or laser. 
We'll put the flashlight on first. We'll show that off. I would like to put the one-handed stock on. I just think that's cool. Um, the hit fire did not seem to get better with the short barrel, so we're going to put the long barrel on, even though that's going to hurt it. 143 range is a lot. Not a huge amount. It's not. We're not like talking like sniper rifle statistics here in the game. The hit fire is real wide on that, though. Not too wide. I think this is going to be manageable. I'm going to run around with it like this, I think. So let's take a look at that flashlight. Flashlight is a flashlight. It does flashlight things. Okay. Now we're going to put the laser on because that should improve hit fire accuracy. And that's kind of the way that I want to do it. Just running around with it one handed. Obviously, the customization of this weapon allows you to make it semi auto. You can put a big old wood stock on there. I do not see scopes though. Charging handle. Can mount sight. Oh, okay, so you can put the charging handle on there. Then you can put a scope on here, like an ACOG, and you can make it semi auto. Tap, tap at long range. Like, we could put a Cobra sight. Lots of, you know, modern military sights. Sounds very similar from games such as Battlefield and Call of Duty and stuff. Right? So let's put the, the laser sight on there, though. Laser sight on the right rail. Let's take a look at this real quick. So. We got a nice little Cobra sight, very clear. Hit fire accuracy slightly improved. It doesn't seem to make a dramatic difference. Obviously, the laser sight is there to help. It's a slower, it's a slower reload too. And then flashlights just our default regular flashlight, so it's not both. Running animation is pretty good here with the one-handed. Let's see what the running animation looks like two-handed. There's there's all these different little things you got going on here. I, I like the fact that you can make it one-handed. So unfolded stock. Put this away. I whip the gun out. You unfold the stock. That takes a long time. And then you run, yeah, you kind of hold it two-handed, right? Obviously, you're holding it two-handed anyway, but, like, with with this version. Let's show off some of the other scopes, too. I got, I'm sure you guys get the idea. You've downloaded weapon mods before. you played modern military shooters. You know what sights look like. You can get a nice four times ACOG. Like, I could show off this gun for a while here with just all different kinds of builds and all different kinds of things. Let's just put the regular folded stock on there. Not the one-handed folded. I want to see what this is like. So it does pull out faster. You still hold it two hands. ACOG, four times scope. You could definitely, you know, pick people off at long range with this. People get really offended when I say the word snipe. They're like, it's not a sniper rifle. I get it. But, like, it's essentially taking the role of that if you make it semi-auto. If you made it silenced. If you put that long barrel on there. We might actually go back to the medium barrel. I'm going to customize it a little bit more, but we're going to show it off in combat the way that I would like to use it. Obviously, I have tried to show you ways that you could use it and give you some examples of variety of it and stuff like that. But I'm going to show it off how I want to use it in combat, and I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, everybody. We're loading up my zombies over in arcade mode here. Let's go to the Super Duper Mart. Even though I go there probably way too much. But that's still my favorite spot to go to test weapons out, especially this kind of weapon that's kind of like I've designed here. You see laser sight. I put the medium barrel back on. Got the drum mag, full auto, just we're going to spray and people, pray people hit fire. Let's spawn in some super mutants. They might even be pretty tough, but I don't think it spawns suiciders this way, which is good. Yeah, you can hear the, the reverb on the inside here is insane, right? Just with the, the spray and ray bullets and stuff, though. Um, but yeah, interior reverb. Just... As you see, I don't have any desire to aim down sights. I even took the scope off, even though technically you get improved accuracy in bats. But I don't even care about bats. Oh no, I care about half the fact that I have to reload. Maybe you want to put maybe a slightly smaller barrel or magazine on here, I mean. A slightly smaller magazine in order to make it have faster reload. We're going to play another wave, though, because I actually really like this gun. Just a nice one-handed Uzi. I feel like I'm really slow when I run, though. Like... It's, I don't think I am. I don't think I have, like, actually, my character's actually slowed down. But the animation just, like, makes it seem slow. That's just maybe me, though. You guys let me know what you think. But I think that it's a slow-looking running animation. Maybe, like, maybe it's the, the way, you know, the character moves and stuff. That's a good time. It's still a good time. This gun is, this is going to be what I'm, I mean, if I wanted to, like, say I, I do find one at, like, a decent range. Not that I can here in the Super Duper. Remember, there's, like, one way over there. Can aim down sight. I don't. The gun has a lot of recoil though. But you can absolutely aim down sight. We'll also get some bat shots on deck just to show that off that it, it does do that. Especially because we got them stacked up here. Headshots on. I only get three. I mean, three bat shots is still a lot when you're talking about fully automatic. But only three. It's not like quite like a pistol. It's still gonna essentially function as a rifle. I should have really just aimed twice. I, I didn't realize that it was gonna. I missed. I missed. Okay, this is how I'm gonna play this gun. <laughs> this is how I wanna play it. Let me play it how I wanna play it. So that's that's what we're doing here. I believe we're, we are done. We can escape. Oh, I can't escape during a round. There's still more people left that wanna get hit fired, because that's all I'm gonna do. 
But is that fun for me? That's extremely fun for me. That's like my favorite way to do this kind of thing is just run around. I was trying to get their attention too. I was trying to be like, hey, come get me. Hello? Hello, you. you're the last one. You're a legendary too. Still get melted. What do I get? Lucky leather left leg. That's not horrible. I'm about I'm about that luck though. The critical hits. Um, we didn't get to show it off in Vats too much, but it's, I don't know if it's really that kind of weapon. I mean, you can not the way that I've designed it anyway, right? You'd obviously I, I think you'd have to want to do other things. You could put that woodstock on there completely, and like the long barrel, and like completely get rid of the recoil, or just really just like put an ACOG scope on there and a suppressor, but. And then bat shots and do all that stuff with it. I still like it the way that this is, you know. It's got a nice, kind of like held up, like lowered animation. And you like, it's got a nice reload animation. Let's not forget that this is nice. It doesn't. It, it's actually less complex. I think that's that's a negative thing too. When you put the drum mag in there, like when you put the regular mag in there, you like do all kinds of cocking and stuff, and it's slower. But it like ha shows off so much more detail and stuff. It's a very cool, very detailed weapon. Like it's essentially like a. a a modern, well, I don't know how modern the Uzi is. I don't know anything about real life guns, but <laughs> that much. I just know based on video games and stuff. But it's like a kind of like a modern weapon, like, but it's like a 10 millimeter SMG essentially, but like a cool looking 10 millimeter SMG that you can wield with one hand because you're a psychopath like I am. Or you can, you know, do whatever you want with it. You guys, let me know how you plan on building this thing down in the comment section down below. If you guys are interested in this mod, then you're gonna, you know download for yourselves the easiest way to do that is to check out the top link in the description there'll be a link there to the bethesda net page or the nexus mod page or wherever you can find this mod there if you guys have enjoyed the video please make sure you have a like rating down below if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe that we can check out more videos from me and pretty much other than that you guys have a good rest of your day whatever it may be and i will see you in the next episode